Hi, my name is Andy Melikar and I am the Community Manager for A2Hosting.com. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at a couple of different ways that you can secure your WordPress login page. This is a page that hackers and bots will often use to try and gain access to your WordPress site. We can lock this down in a couple of different ways. The first way is we can restrict access to this page by limiting it just to your IP address of your specific computer. The other way that we can lock it down is we can add an additional login and password with an HT access file, which will require you to log in to the server actually before you can even get to this page to log into WordPress. So the first thing that we'll look at is actually how to lock this down by IP address. Now one of the key things you want to keep in mind is if you're using a service like Cloudflare or some other CDN service, you probably won't be able to use this because all of the traffic coming in from Cloudflare is going to have a different IP address than the person who's actually trying to access the site. Uh, so you don't want to use this if you are using any of those services, you'll want to use the other method that we'll talk about here in a little bit. If you're not using one of those, you can do this. It's really easy and it's a quick way to, uh, to lock this page down. One of the other caveats though is that uh, IP addresses are pretty easy for people to spoof and so uh, it's not a fail safe, it's not a completely foolproof method, um, but it still does make it quite a bit harder for people to access your site. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to create an HT access file and we need to put some rules in there that limit our access to this page to only one site. So I'm going to open up my text editor and I'm going to go down into my WordPress folder and open up the HT access file, which at the moment is blank. So I need to paste some rules in here. If you go to the KB article that we have listed here, uh, you'll see the code snippet that we're using. So I'm going to copy that and paste it down here into my text editor. Basically, this rule just says if anybody tries to access the wp-login.php file, they have to come from this specific IP address. Right now, we just have X's in there, so we need to change that to the IP address of the computer that I'm currently using. So I do that with a tool just called What's My IP Address. Uh, if you go out to whatsmyip.org, uh, it'll give you your current IP address of the computer that you're using. So I'm just going to copy that and then go back into my text editor and paste that on top of the X's there. Now once I save this file, then any access to that wp-login.php page has to come from this IP address. So since I'm already using that IP address, we're not going to see anything different. If I go to this page and refresh it, uh, it'll take a second to load and then it'll, it'll let me in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go turn on my VPN and we'll see what happens when I access this from another IP address. Okay, now I've connected to my VPN, so I'm going to refresh this page and I should get an error. And there we go, it says forbidden. So that's what anybody else will see if they try and access this site if they're not coming from that IP address. So next we'll take a look at how we can limit this down to uh, requiring an additional login and password. The first thing we need to do for this method is we need to create an HT password file. This is a file that Apache uses to authenticate somebody against a page. Uh, so we're going to go to a site called HT, HT Access Tools. Uh, you'll see that link there in the YouTube and also in our KB article. And here you just want to enter in a login and a password that you want to use. Now don't use your WordPress login and password. Use something different so that there is additional authentication. If you use the same login and password, there really is no point in doing this. Uh, so I'm going to create a login for myself and create a password. And then just hit that button that says Create HT Password. On the next page, you'll see it's generated a line of text there that has my login and the encrypted password. So I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to switch back over to my text editor. And we're going to go to the top level of my hosting account. So I'm going to click on that A2 hosting demo. And then we're going to create a new file. We're going to name this .wp-password. And all this file does is it stores that line of text with our login and our password. So I'll paste that in there and we'll hit save. So next we need to open up the HT access file for our WordPress, which I already have open. I'm going to delete the rules for the IP address. We're going to use a different set of rules for this particular method. And again, the code snippet for this is in the KB article that we have linked here. Uh, so I'll copy that and we're going to paste that into this HT access file. 
So the first rule here just says that Apache is not going to serve up any requests for a .ht file. So it'll prevent anybody from trying to open up this file or the password file. Uh, the next thing that we do is we just set a couple of error documents so that way if somebody does not log in correctly, um, they'll receive an unauthorized or forbidden error. The next set actually sets the rules for using that WP login file. It says that we have to use an authorization user file and that file is listed there and then it's going to prompt us to please log in and require a specific user in order to gain access to that WP login page. So we have to change a couple of things here. The first thing we have to do is we have to change this auth user file to have our username for our, for our A2 hosting account. This is the same as your cPanel login. It's the same thing you would log into with FTP or with SSH. So I will put that in there. And then the next thing we have to do is we have to specify a required user. Uh, so this is the same username that you created on that HT Access tool site. So I'll go ahead and type mine in there. And then we'll hit save. So now at this point, if I go back over to my WordPress login and refresh the site, refresh the page, it should ask me for a login and a password, which it does. So I'm going to type in the wrong thing first. You can see that it just pops up again and asks me to log in again. So now I'm going to type in the correct login and password. You can see that it refreshes and takes me to my login page. So now you have two logins and passwords. At this point, I'll have to still enter in my WordPress login and password in order to get further into the site. Uh, this method is a little bit more secure than the IP address method because uh, you're generating the login and password. So unless you uh, tell that to somebody, it's a lot harder for them to guess that. And then it does add that additional layer because you have two different sets of credentials that you have to use to get into your WordPress site. Uh, so here are two simple methods that you can use to secure this very easily. Um, they have a lot of other tutorials on different things that you can do to secure your WordPress site. Uh, visit a2hosting.com slash kb to view those tutorials or look on our YouTube page. Thanks and th have a great day.